get back to work on this thing. Man, this is wavy as wavy can get. Big old, well, what is this? Why do I have this gap? <clears throat> it ain't going. I just don't know what I'm gonna do, you know. But, hey, it's you guys again. Hey, you like my hat? I dig it. Hey, looks like we got a whole lot to do and some figuring out. Let's figure out some hacks together since, you know, we really don't know what we're doing, but we'll figure it out, right? Let's try a few things. Welcome back, Junks Automotive. It's good to see you guys again. All right, here be the problem. Big old gap. Fender's good back there. I had to force this fender forward to be lined up, sort of like that side. This was replaced and, and not by me, welded right here and right here. So this section was replaced and somehow this was curved this way. So I split the flange that mounted the fender to the body and beat it around. Okay, great. Problem is, besides the gap, these holes don't line up. I could force it, but it really puts this thing in a bind, man. The other side, the fender was too long. This one's too short. And also, I measured, you can see this, we're about four and, about four and a half inches. Same place on the other fender. We're closer to five. So that tells me this is wrong. It's in the wrong place. Besides, see how curved in this whole headlight bucket is? It's not flush, it's, it's pushed in. Okay, that one is too, but not as bad. All right, we can fix that. Now, let me show you what I'm gonna do to fix this, I hope. All right, there we go. So we have the uh, body line quite a bit better, you know, doable. But then when you get down here, oops. And I don't have a super big problem with filling this out to match the other side. Problem is, this step, and still wouldn't be that big a deal. It's a driver project, you know. But on this flange, there's a lower balance underneath the bumper, you know, the little, the little whoop whoop. It's supposed to bolt here. That's not gonna bolt up. There's gonna do a bunch of hole wallering and all that. And so I think, and it's not close, or it's, it's kind of close, but see how far back it is? I just, I just want that to come down and out. So I'm gonna try some. Sort of like I did on the other fender, but a little bit different. You can see here where it's been welded straight across through here and this section was added on. So I'm gonna cut it right here on this flange to allow it to flex. This hole does line up, that one does not. So I've got to water this hole out. All the rest of them line up. Part of the problem is this car has been wrecked in this corner. See the weld mark here? There's a weld mark right across here, right through here, and that makes this whole thing wavy, and it's been welded here. So this corner of the car has been replaced, you know. So if that doesn't allow it to come out, I may cut it right here. Because these holes are closer than I thought to the other side. They are a little bit closer, probably usable. But if I cut it here and I have to and have to bring this down and out, these holes will spread out a tiny bit. We can get this to line up. Then I'll tack it into place. So I'll have a gap to fill, but I've got tricks for that. And, and, and tack it all in place so it stays where it's supposed to be. Then I'll take it, take it off, put it on the, on the rack and weld it, weld it up. Then we'll do our body work, hopefully. Let's see what happens. We'll cut the inside first. And get...
Yep. That's what I have to do. All right. Well, we got a gap. Good thing is, this is lined up. Our flange is pretty much lined up and it can move around. I'm not too worried about that, but the bullet holes kind of all got to be in the same plane. So with this here, this is flush. Of course, there's a quite a, just as big a gap, if not bigger, on the flange part that bolts the fender, the flinder, the flinder to the doggy. Boy, this is rough. We're gonna all body work all this. Anyhow, let me get this cleaned off. And uh, I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to weld up this gutter gap. Pair of ice grips holding it all in plain. I got my brass hammer. You can tell by the way that it is, I've been using this to weld on. The great thing is, it conducts electricity, right? Because it's brass. Weld does not stick to it because it's brass. And it absorbs heat. Not that I'm too worried about warping this up. A little ship's already sailed on that one. But what I want to try to do, I'll put that hammer, maybe, there we go, right up to that, right up flush to the back side of that. And what I'll do is I'll start on one side, keep tacking until I get to the other. We'll get a nice little glob in there and, and something to hold it anyway. Now the inner flange is a different story. I got a trick for that too. Same idea, piece of copper. It's actually a piece of copper pipe that's been cut down the side and flattened out. And I've got it shoved in behind behind our, our opening here. So I just want to get a good spot weld inside here and, and, and you know, and then get it get it straightened out over there on the on the body dolly. And uh, we just want it to hold hold the spot. Sound quit because I'm a beginner, beginner, beginner welder. Just showing you the globby welds. Get you a cheap welder. Just try it. It's basically what I'm saying here. Got her globbed up inside and outside. We're ready to go. Yep. Sound's still not working, but here we are. We've got her all ground down, ready to do some body work. Didn't turn out bad for a bad welder. Yep. Turned out pretty fair. About can't tell I did anything. Yep, let's get this thing back on. I got a couple things I'm going to do to that thing first.
looking pretty good, I think. You know, matches up just the same as the other side. You know, our flange is lined up and the bolt pattern. This is naturally higher than the bottom, this part, but the bolt, it's fine. You'll see. So now you saw me, uh, this is where someone's welded sections in. If you look really close, see some braze. Where did I see some more? Oh, right there. There's some brazing. I'm not gonna mess with it. We're gonna dura glass right over this because we wanna seal it up, you know? It's not, uh, and, and it's, uh, geez, what the heck? Anyway, uh, it's, it's all kind of like this from where it's been welded and heated. And right here, this is pretty rough. Right here where the, where the hood lines up. And I have the bumpers that go in this hole, that hole, that hole that lines the hood up, you know, so we can, we can do our body work to the hood and make, make sure it looks nice. So you guys stick around. I'm getting ready to show you something really cool. I All right, it. real quick. Kite string or twine, whatever you got. Masking tape. You're going to see what it's all about here in just a second. Got the Dura Glass mixed. I'm probably going to get in your way just a little bit, but that's all right. I just want to get a good substrate, if that makes any sense. Any, any anything that's been welded, brazed, anything like that, we want to get something to give it strength, some sealing action. Some of this stuff's hard to get to the back side of it to seal it up. Just give it a little, give it a little oomph, you know. Now where this is welded down inside there, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a low spot. I don't want to fill that with Bondo. I'd rather fill it with something a little stronger because Duraglass will flex. A lot better than Bondo. It adds strength because it's it's basically Bondo with fiberglass strands. Some people call it kitty hair. Uh, there's there's other terms for it. I just call it Duraglass. Duraglass is actually a uh, brand name. And we're just kind of roughing this in until old Ralph goes and or we or he or me orders him a grill. I don't want to finish this part up. Finalized until until we have a grill. The new one or he wants to use the one that we're going to use. Um, which is fine with me. Now right down here is just a little bit low. It seems like a lot, but it's going to get sanded off for the most part. Okay, well this stuff is just starting to set up and I can kind of tell because I can kind of mold it. I can kind of go across it and it might be a little early yet. You kind of mold it like uh, Play-Doh, if that makes any sense. 
it's not sticking to my finger but I can push it around so let's give it a try let's grab our string masking tape boy that stuff sticks to stuff you don't want it to stick to if you want it to stick it won't stick nope too soon all right I mean it's just about two minutes later what I want to do is separate that the strings trying to pull through still gonna get our thing this will be easier if it's not so much on both all right so now we'll let it sit up longer and you're gonna see what the masking tape does we're starting to set up so and another little thing we can do you know a little bit of overhang that you don't want get old pocket knife just go ahead and slice it right off you know it ends up being like modeling clay kind of in a way you know save you a little bit of sanding and all that so there's a funny spot That stuff will not stick to masking tape. All right? A little cheese grater action while it's still a little bit soft just to knock the high spots off. Again, kind of saves my sanding arm. Like the hat? Stay tuned to learn how to worm, worm one. Win one. Mini Bondo Hog, six inch, 40 grit. We're just gonna go over it and knock it all down right quick. Here's what we got left. You know, you got a high spot, low spot, high spot, high spot, you know, low spot. This this whole corner where it's been replaced, you can just kind of see the, if you want to see, you can see the spot welds where somebody's put this piece in. And I'm pretty sure this has been added. You know, so this whole corner was a uh, you know. But anyway, we got to start. We got a foundation. Let's go ahead and uh, mix this up. Boy, this is all beat up too. Everything's roughed up, right? 40 grit. So we're going to go ahead and mix up a, a big old batch of Bondo and give her one good slicker down. Cut that down and, and we're going to call it roughed in. Got some body filler mixed up. I thought I did. All right. So what I'm going to do as I'm putting this in is pay attention to my highs and lows. So we know this is a low spot. I just want to 
put it on there, all right? I mean, this, this whole corner of the car, and it goes all the way up the body. So it's gonna be another whole issue. I'm trying to put it in my, I know it don't look like it, but I'm trying to put it in my low spots. Then we'll go over and smooth it out. As long as I didn't put too much hardener in it. And as I'm doing this, and I'll tell you guys, if you're new to the channel, uh, especially if you're new to the channel, I've done this YouTube thing for 15 years. Of course, I, you know, would go a couple years without doing videos or working on cars and all that stuff. Um, but I, I, I sat down and got to thinking the other day and, the what you know who is my channel for <clears throat> what kind of guy is my channel for well my channel for the person is a guy that's like me to be honest he doesn't you know doesn't necessarily know everything you know he he, he wants to figure it out he's probably got a project car or he's thinking about having a project car and the truth is you don't have to have a nice shop you don't have to have a nice welder you don't have to have a shop at all you got an old clunker something your grandpappy left you your dad left you and it's sitting in the backyard man you, you can fix it up you don't have to have a welder. You don't have to have electricity. If you want to, if you want to drill, drill holes to to put a patch panel in and put some rivets in it, do it. You know, everybody's going to tell you that's not the right way to do it. But I'm going to tell you something. Whatever keeps that car on the road, whatever makes you happy, is what you should be doing. But whatever makes you smile, all right? I mean, believe me, I've been to car shows and seen cars and going, man, you know, what is that? But that guy is happy as heck about his car. So don't you worry about what anybody else thinks. Worry about what makes you happy. And I think that's what this channel is about. Get, getting, you know, getting people to get out of the, the whole technical aspect of it and figuring out how to do something. You know, I, I use kite string and masking tape. I mean, yeah, you know, how hillbilly can you get? But use what you got, right? So if you've made it this far in the video, then my channel is for you. So now I'm just gonna just try to slick this out just enough and we're, we're trying to rough it in I'm not trying to make it perfect who cares Lord knows ain't nothing perfect in this world we're just trying to give us a foundation get a start get it roughed in with some 80 grit at the end of it we probably go over this whole corner of the car about four times, I'm quite sure. Then put us some uh, spray Bondo on it. The good stuff, not the cheap stuff, you know. And, and, and at the end, at, at that, at that level, you don't, you don't need to do that either. If you're in the backyard, you don't need expensive stuff. Buy the cheap stuff. Use what you got. Do with what you have, you know. 
whatever your wife or your kids will let you do. You don't have any money? Man, I'll tell you what, you can still come up with something. Save your pennies. Clean some gutters, you know, shovel some snow. If you want to do it, believe me, if you want to do this sort of thing, if you want to do it bad enough, you will. You'll figure out a way. Don't worry about what you don't have. And that's, that's you know, that's probably going to give us a start. You know, so we'll let that set up, block it off real quick, throw that fender back on, see where we're at. Now before this stuff gets too hard, do yourself a favor. Pocket knife is your friend. She set up, done a little scratch test on the edge. All I've got is my block, right? It could be a piece of two by four, piece of one by two, whatever, with some 80 grit, sticky back 80 grit. Excuse me, 40 grit. We're doing this in 40. Until we go around the whole car and then we'll do 80 and do our touch-ups and our little details, right? Right now we're roughing it in with 40. So really all I want to do, and I could use that Bondo hog, cut this down really fast, but being so rounded and my skill level being, you know, like that, we're just going to nice and light. I'm going to let that glide on top of everything. Cut the high spots down, the low spots, and what I want to look for is metal or that Dura glass to show up, All right? Because then we know we got to stop. We know that we're we're getting close if we see stuff like that. So I'll go like this for a little bit. Just cut that. It, it's gonna it's gonna cut down pretty quick, and I feel a hump right there. And it, you know. But don't, I'm not going to concentrate on it. I'm just going to cut right through it. Nice and light. I'm not putting any pressure. Just letting the sandpaper do the work, right? Then I'll go over this way. I'm not worried about the edges. I'm not worried about anything. I'm worried about just getting a level playing field. Because it's better to leave too much Bondo than it is take off too much. Because by the time you, you know, you'll fill in this low area, that low area and all that, and you try to sand it all, you end up making it wavy anyway. That's why I like the... 40 grit deal because it it cuts easy. I don't have to push on it. And I believe, like some believe, it's going to be straighter. So I'm just going to cross it, knocking off my high stuff. Well, there you have it. First pass. There's going to be a couple passes. You know, as soon as I start seeing metal, Dura glass, like there, metal, high spot, high spot, high spot, high spot. You know, I just, I just stop. You can feel, I can feel with, with my hand. You know, there's a little low spot here, maybe a little bit of high spot, and I know it's low here and here. Also, this body. There's a, there's a crease right through here. I can feel it. Once you get that dust on there, boy, you can feel it. So this bondo is going to make its way all the way up through here, as we already knew, because of the, if you saw the other videos, you know. So, you know, one uh, and 40 grit, we're going to do the whole thing. I, I say it again, we're going to do the whole thing this way, just rough it in. And then as we go through, we'll block it out. We'll start filling in some some lower areas and tapping down some highs if we need to and finish it out in 80 the whole thing just uh, just work our way around the car you know we've made it that far 
Yeah, it was about time, wasn't it? Got her fixed up. It's roughed in. It's rough. But the main thing you got to remember when you're messing around with stuff like this is everything you do makes it a little bit better. What else can you ask for? And so, tell you what, we're at 861 subscribers. And I've said it before, but you new guys and girls, boys and girls, uh, you know, I'm giving away a bunch of these hats. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll do the coolest dance an old guy could ever do for you and give away some of these hats. So it's going to be a big time. You know, look at this thing. How far have we come? Pretty dang far. Again, if you're just now seeing this, go back to the in the, in, into the, the playlist for the, I think it's 59 MGA. It's a 58, 60, one or two, I don't know. But all, all the videos are in there, so go back and check it out. <clears throat> uh, I'm super happy and very proud for what we have done together in building this channel up just in the last couple, three or four months. Um, and me taking it seriously because for 13 whatever years, I haven't. But I couldn't have done it without you guys. You know, I love the comments, the likes, the questions, you know. It's, it's really awesome. And, and it's a community that we're building uh, <clears throat> over a bunch of us guys that don't really, you know, we enjoy this hobby. That's what it is. It's a hobby. And we're having a good time doing it, right? So we'll see you again next week. Share, subscribe, hit, hit my like button thing down there, right? Let me know, you know, in the comments what an I idiot I am or, or how cool you think it is. Or, and, and if you, you really liked, liked the video, tell all your friends you was watching Junks Automotive. If you didn't like the video, tell all your friends you were liking, or you were watching DD Speed Shop or Vice Grip Garage, maybe. I know, it's hard to say that. I watch them too. They're some of my favorites, good guys. Anyhow, well, I got a little high spot still there. That's okay. We're roughed in. Hey, thanks for hanging out. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Braden, Dallas, all them guys. Hey, Zorba, Ralph, we'll see you next week. Junk out. Oh, man. Let me go inside. My feet are cold. Thanks for watching. Junk out of